it's not the most exciting time. We've kicked a keg, this caribou slobber. Now it's time to break it down and clean it for the next time. First, we need to let the air off, so we just open the relief valve for this. Once that's all let go, we're going to open it up. I highly recommend a 7 8 inch wrench. That's what's going to take these off. You can also use it just a little bit to... Sometimes that sticks pretty hard and you have to open it up. I've taken the 7 8 inch wrench and I've loosened up my... That's my dip tube as you can see here. That's where the beer comes out. So we'll just take this out. I'd like to use this little Tupperware container so I don't lose track of anything. This is where the CO2 goes in. Just want to break that apart here. You can see there's another little O-ring in here. And another thing, this, these guys have the, the post has a notch on them that lets you know that it's CO2. Let's pull out our top here. Just turn it sideways. We'll take off this O-ring. We're going to let this all soak. And if we look inside the keg, you can maybe see there's a bunch of gunk in there. If I use these uh, cleaning tablets, all you got to do is take two of them, put them in the keg with some warm water, and let them soak for uh, an hour, and then we just rinse it out with water. Well, unfortunately, my brewery doesn't have a, a dedicated stainless steel sink and everything, so like many of you, I'm forced to clean uh, things in the bathtub. So at this point, I've rinsed out the keg. There's always a little bit of you know, residue that's at the bottom there. Got all the gunk out of there. I've taken the dip tube and I flipped it upside down and put it in here. I'll use it as a stir stick in a minute. Next thing I like to do is I like to take these tablets and let them soak in the water and make sure it's all dissolved ahead of time because what I've what's happened to me in the past is I've put them in the keg and the, the tablets actually didn't dissolve. So let me just go ahead and get those mixed up and pour it in and we'll be good to go. I've filled it all up with the, the cleaner, mixed it up using a dip tube. Also I've filled up this uh, Tupperware uh, container right here which holds all my uh, connectors and uh, o-rings and all that kind of stuff. So we'll just let it soak for an hour. Then we'll come back and rinse it and we'll be done. Everything's been cleaned and rinsed and I'll just set it on a paper towel to dry out. Whenever I finish a keg, I also take the opportunity to clean the lines out. And what I have here is a Flowmaster. Uh, this is basically a sprayer uh, that I got from Home Depot that I uh, found the instructions online and I'll do a blog post on this with all the details of the parts. I also use this BLC beer line cleaner. So let me get this hooked up and I'll show you how it works. You really need to keep your beer lines and your taps clean. You don't want to attract bugs, you don't want to get any bacteria or anything like that. So I like to clean these um, every couple of weeks or at least when I finish one of my kegs off. So if we just have a look at the state of things right now, you can see that my drip tray is pretty dirty. Um, you can see like, you know, rings on here. Um, I highly recommend these tap covers, by the way. Uh, you don't want any critters or anything getting up in there because they will be attracted to the sweet smell of your beer. So we'll go ahead and pull these off. All right, so down here, I've got this bottle filled up with beer line cleaner, and I will do a blog post on how to put one of these together. There's plenty out there. Inside my kegerator, I'm gonna disconnect all my lines. Now I've disconnected all my beer lines, and what I'll do is I'll pump this up, get some air pressure on it, and I'll run it through one line at a time, and then out the out the taps and then I'll let them soak. We've got the uh, cleaner in the line. We'll go ahead and shut this off. We're gonna let that soak. And then we'll move on to the next line. I'll also take some of this beer line cleaner and just get inside my taps. Make sure there's no gunk in there. The beer line cleaner's been soaking for 15 minutes now. And I've changed out this to be using clean water now. And so we'll just go through each tap one at a time and run clean water through it. For this last step, I like to run sanitizer through all the taps and lines. 
And what I'll do is I'll leave the sanitizer in the lines if I'm not using the beer. So I'll just run through these one at a time, making sure to leave some sanitizer in there. I have got them hooked back up again. Uh, the ones that I'm not using, I just take advantage of my refrigerator rack and just, uh, you know, lock them in up here. You can see I've got these two go together and these two go together. And the other two are hooked up with sanitizer. Um, so what I'll do is I am going to get past the sanitizer so I can have a few of these beers later. So there we go. We've got some beer coming out. Next up, the Amber Ale. One final thing that I'd recommend is spraying just a little bit of sanitizer inside each of these tap covers. That way when you put them on there's no concern about you know, bacteria growing inside.